Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. Today we're taking a look at part two of our 1988 Cobra Bug restoration project. In our last video, we took a look at the specific parts individually and I pointed out a few of the common problems you'll find uh, when trying to get parts for restoration and things like that. So in this episode, what we're going to be doing is actually just disassembling the main unit itself uh, cherry picking the parts that we're going to use for our restoration project and then I'll just uh, go ahead and get them cleaned up so should be an interesting build for us so stick around so the first thing we're going to do is just remove all of these uh, hinge plates the bay door opens and uh, the cockpit door <clears throat> these are just uh, the regular kind of hinge joints uh, so like on the front one you see there's a little gap between the actual hinges and the rest of the plate. So all you gotta do is just uh, press in on those hinge joints and they just pop out like that. Very simple, you just press in on these little hingey things and it pops right out. So those are easy to pull off. Uh, the one thing you're gonna be looking for as you're doing this is just try to match up the coloration between all these different doors. You may run across a couple that are Maybe have some sun damage or something. Maybe some of these are faded. So big thing is just you want all of them to be as close to the same color as you can get. So same thing for the center ones. All you got to do is uh, press in on this thing and they just pop right out. The rear one works the same way. Just kind of press in and it just lifts right off. There you go. For our first piece here, what we are needing to do is to take off the top half of the canopy from the bottom half, and we'll also go ahead and pull off these uh, plastic pieces for the um, intake manifold thingies, for the little, I don't know what you call those things, but uh, we're gonna take those pieces off and uh, then we'll pull out the cockpits and the rear cockpit and go from there. So there are a couple of tabs on these things, and this particular one is already kind of halfway pulled apart, um, which is going to make it a little easier on us, but uh, if it's not, it's okay. Y'all can figure this out. Uh, there is a tab here on the front side. Uh, if you find the dip in the side between these uh, grooves, that's where your first tab is going to be. Then there's a couple of other ones around that we'll look at in a second. Uh, if you have them, they make a small um, plastic screwdriver for electronics devices and things like that. Those things work great for taking part uh, these vehicles and things like that. Um, I actually don't have one though, so I'm just going to use a regular screwdriver to help get us started with these tabs. And I'm actually just going to use my Leatherman today. But essentially all you got to do is, uh, again, find that little notch between where the detail work on these grooves lies and just stick your screwdriver in there just slightly, push in on it and pull up and that should unlatch that one. Then over here on the side, we have another one in the front piece here, directly below this one turret system. And as you can see, it's a... Uh, pretty easy one to get to you can actually see that and more than likely you can just use your hand to pop that one up but again we got a screwdriver so why not go ahead and do it that way just uh, put a little bit of pressure on it and it should just lift right out once you get it started and that one did and you can uh, kind of go at it from the top and pry up on it a little bit then we're going to move on to the next one from the front, pretty much direct center and down, there's another tab that you can see with your naked eye. Just uh, stick the screwdriver in there on it, press in to release that one, and uh, kind of pull up at the same time on this piece just to get that started. And we're going to go, to go to the far side of this uh, piece that sticks out. 
that on the side. Again, there's another tab right here on the front. It's going to work the same way. Press in with your screwdriver and it should just pop right up like that. Just be careful when you're working on this one on the top piece. This one tab here is the one that breaks off the, the most. So if you can find one that's intact, be careful not to break it. So moving right along, we're just going to spin it around to the other side. And it pretty much has the same thing on it. Start at the front here, there is a tab. Just press in on it with your screwdriver and pick up at the same time. You can get your hand in there pretty easily since it is on the uh, opening here. Moving to the next one, it's the next section over. Same kind of principle here, just press in on it and pull up at the same time. It should just pop right up. Then we'll go to the back side. And it works the same as the one on the other one, the first one we started with. You'll find the little grooves on the side here. And where there isn't that groove, where it's smooth, that's where your tab is going to be. So just take your screwdriver, stick it in right there, and just kind of pull up on it. It should pop right out like that. Then that essentially is all of them. And uh, if you're lucky, everything will just uh, lift up at that point. And I should note that on the back side of the canopy here, where um, back side of the hull, there are two tabs in that connect to this red piece here, one on each side. Uh, they are visible, so all you got to do is kind of do the same thing. Take your screwdriver and press in on them, and they should just pop and release easy like and. If you're lucky like that, it'll just pop right open, and then it will just lift straight off. And that is our top main hole that we need. So that's a piece that we're going to keep, so I'm going to set that to the side, and we'll take a look at everything else while we're in here. Uh, so, let's just start here at the front canopy here, or the front cockpit. Uh, this piece actually just lifts straight out, so uh, grab it, pull it out. What holds it in is just this little peg on the back side and a little peg hole, so that's going to be an easy one for you. Lift that out, and if you are planning to keep that, put that with your good parts list. Uh, most of the time there's not much wear to this piece. A couple things to look out for though, there are a couple of these little joysticky things that could break off in this case it looks like they're all intact so this one's going to be a good one to reuse it does not have the seat belts but we can find seat belts later I'm not worried about that and just looking at it all around it's in good shape so it's fine we'll probably reuse that one uh, the next thing for us to take a look at we'll go to these side pieces um, if you're lucky enough you'll have two of these black pieces on each of these bright green pontoon looking things. In my case I only have one on this side and one on the other side. Uh, but to get them apart it's fairly simple. They actually just uh, pop right off. There's a little uh, lip on the inside of those that holds them in place. So they just snap on there and you just use your thumb and they just pop right off. So. Uh, we'll probably need that one again later, so we'll put that in the good parts list. Turn it around. Same thing for the other one that I have. They just pop right off. That's kind of why they're so easily lost, and you don't see them on all of them, because they do just pop on and pop off, so, yeah. Uh, now, the next piece is this uh, green harpoony thing, pontoony thing, uh, and... I'm just grabbing it and wiggling it, and it pops right off. If you look at the bottom of it, there are two pegs. You can see right there. And they just fit into these two peg holes on the bottom of the, uh, the bottom of the other hole. So just pick up on it, and it should just pop right out. And these look in, to be in good shape. Um, the common problem with these would be these uh, joystick levers up at the front kind of see them right there make sure that they're intact if you have any broken off discard it and go find one that's not broken otherwise it goes into our good parts list 
Same thing for the other side, just kind of grab it and wiggle it until it pops off. And it should come off with pretty easily. Again, look at the joysticks on the front. As long as they're intact, you're good to go. You can check the bottom to make sure that those two pegs are in place. And hopefully we don't drop it and break it in the process. But uh, yeah, so we've got two of those now. Uh, the other part that we have is this big red piece here that has all the engine detail work. And uh, surprisingly, there is a lot of detail work on this. So we'll need one of these. Doesn't look like there are any screws or anything holding this thing in. Uh, so it should be fairly straightforward. We'll come back to it in just a second because first we have to take the wheels off. So we're going to flip this thing upside down and try to figure out how to get these off. I'm just going to manhandle it for a second and see what happens. Um, it didn't work too easily, but if you'll look in from the top, you see these round holes here? There are actually little pegs on them that hold the wheel axle in place. And if we are really lucky, all we have to do is just push down on that circular plastic piece. I'm going to use my screwdriver though because they don't pop out easily. And that's not working either, so we'll go back to it this way. Flip it upside down and just kind of... I don't like the sound of that. Tell you what, let's look at the tires first. Uh, the tires are held in place by just these uh, two little clampy, peggy things. Um, and you should just be able to kind of pop them off. Um... We're going to use this uh, needle nose pliers to see if we can pinch those two in without scratching stuff up too much. And I'm going to have to turn it this way to get both hands on it. And just kind of pinch them and wiggle the tire. And then the tire should pop off at some point. It may take a little bit of wiggling. There we go. So just pull on it then, and then it should start, and then it just pops off just like that. And they're just these little spokes here. So that's all they are. And I'm trying to... So we're going to do the same thing for the rest of these. Uh, moving back to these pieces. I'm just going to pull on them and see what happens. They're pretty well in there. So looking at it from the top here, uh, it's got like a four tab prong on it uh, that clamps over top of the little pegs that hold those uh, shafts in place. And I don't really know a good way of uh, actually getting those out. So we're just going to push on it real hard and see if it pops out and it doesn't want to so you can try sticking the screwdriver in there to move one of those tabs out um, you may have to kind of hold it up at an angle like this to get it started and then put one side of the screwdriver in and then pull if you can if you got a really good light, that would probably work well too. What we're trying to not do is to break those tabs. But it's not working really well. So what can we do? Uh, if you have a smaller screwdriver, try that. It just so happens I have a slightly smaller screwdriver. Let's 
So let's see if we can get that in there. That worked a lot better. It's still not popping out. But the tab is at least moving. So if you can get into one side and push that out and then try one of the other sides. Ideal trying to get two sides out at the same time. And then try to go for one of the third ones. And you're really trying just to spread those apart. And that really isn't working. It's just uh, wiggling around in there, going from one side to the other side. So they're really not made to come off, actually. So, we're going to have to let that sit in there. But that's no big deal. Um, going to make cleaning a little bit harder there may be some junk underneath that that we can't get to to clean but at the end of the day you uh, cut your losses sometimes and uh, just move on from there I'm going to try one more time for this one wheel and then we'll call it quits on this one butchered that one so we're gonna say that's good enough uh, that tire can stay on there um, it'll probably end up going into the junk pile anyways but uh, one of the main reasons for that is because one of the um, missile holders is broken anyways so we can't really use that part anyway so uh, we're gonna say that's good enough uh, the next thing we're going to look at is one of the other pieces, so um, we'll put this one to the side. We've got the parts that we wanted off of it. We've got the top canopy intact. We've got all the tires. We've got the pontoon pieces. We have the cockpit seating. And we have two of these uh, air intake things. So that's what we're after. We'll get enough to go with that. We'll move on to the next part. Now that we've removed everything else from the bottom hole, the only thing left on it is the wheelbase and the axles. Uh, word of warning here, uh, these things are very difficult to pull off. So if you don't have to, if everything is in good condition, don't worry about this. Just leave it intact. Uh, you can clean around it. There's not going to be any problem with that. Uh, the only thing it's going to affect is this uh, big red piece here is attached by the same spokes that hold the axles in place. So you won't be able to pull that out either without pulling those axles off. Uh, but luckily the only thing that that's going to affect is just the cleaning of the underside of the this piece. And I'm not too worried about that so we're going to skip that step. Uh, but in order to take it apart all you got to do if you look inside here there are a couple of peg things and you basically just gotta press down really hard and pop those little pegs off but again they are kind of difficult it's on a, a double clamp system so there's a a large round 
button on the top of those pegs and underneath it it's a skinnier diameter one so the little tabs that you see here uh, actually lock in place underneath the top of that button so in order to get it off you have to kind of pry those tabs apart and then push down on the tab um, but again it's not the easiest thing in the world to do and it's not really going to affect anything for us on this particular one so we aren't going to worry about that a couple of things to note here on the front of this what you're looking for is this little tab at the bottom and the two tabs on the sides uh, if you got those intact that's good there's also a couple of these missile attachments that you want to make sure are intact and same thing on the other side and then the tow hook at the back it will sometimes break off but uh, not very common so that's what you want to look for so if you have all that then you've got a good candidate you may also want to look and make sure there's no real bad scratches or anything on there but uh, in this case that's what we have so there's the bottom piece once you have removed your top canopy uh, what we're going to do is uh what we're looking for is to uh, remove these uh, gun turret attachments and it's easier to do that from the bottom side so if you look here this is what we're after uh, it's just a kind of a, a peg joint kind of thing so the easiest way to do this is just take like a set of pliers and just uh, pinch in on them and pull from the other side and you're basically just going to pop those out just like that. and then just pull up on it twist if you need to and I just knock it back in instead of just pulling it out let's try it again press in on it and you can just kind of push from the bottom all the way to the other side and they pop off just like that. So there's two of those that you need. And the second one is a little tighter as you can kind of see here. Uh, there's not much room to work with but just uh, kind of rotate the thing until it lines up to where you can grab a hold of it with your pliers. Squeeze on those two little joints and just pop it through the other side this is probably easier if you can actually uh, get in here to see it without a tripod in your way but I've got a tripod here so uh, I'm just kind of doing my best to figure out how to do this There we go. And it just pops out like that. The next thing we're going to remove is the gun turret from the bottom of the cockpit, which is attached to the bottom hole. As you can see here, it also has one of the uh, circular peggy things on it. Uh, so luckily, all you got to do is just pull on this one and it comes off pretty easily. And it's just two pieces. You've got the, the guns and the actual attachment mount so yeah that one was simple next up we have the actual submarine pod whatever you want to call it here uh, this thing's in a couple of pieces so we'll need to kind of be careful about it the important part that we want here first is these fins on the back uh, these things are hard to come by so be careful with it but they're just on a couple of these hinge joints so the first one at the top is just a press in tab so just pull out on it and then the other one will just lift up like that and flip it over to the other side and do the same thing pull out on the top one and the other one should just come off and then looking at this by itself 
uh, these things just fit into these little notches at the bottom um, so you can just pull them off if you want to or you can leave them intact um, I'm not gonna worry about this one because we can still clean it without having to pull that apart but you could just pull that off if you wanted to so there's the fin piece uh, next thing that we have is the bottom gun turret and this works the same as the one on the front of the main body hull all you got to do is just pull up kind of wiggle it a little bit and just pull straight up and it should just pop right off just like that uh, you can see the little tabs here just pull straight up and then uh, the gun actually just rest inside of this piece right here so it uh, just fits in there like that and clamps together with those two little pieces um, so it just pulls apart like that so there's the gun the next thing we have is let's go ahead and attach unattach the uh, front of this thing so looking at the side of it you've got a tab here and one on the other side and that's pretty much all there is to it uh, you can actually just use your fingers for this one because this plastic is uh, it's very plasticky it's not a brittle plastic so just press in on that and just pull out and it should just pop right out flip it over to the other side and do the same thing just press in on it with your thumb or your finger whatever you can get to and it just should just slide off at that point and then you've got the front half of your submarine canopy next thing we have is the actual glass canopy it should actually just pull straight out along with the cockpit and you can see the seat belt in there as well you can just pull it out if you want to very simple the glass canopy this one's in really good shape uh, the last part we have here is the circular fan thing whatever you want to call that it's held in place by these uh, two tabs between the large rotor and the smaller rotors uh, you can just use your screwdriver to kind of press that and just kind of this slides out a little bit and you may need to work kind of down and up on it to kind of get it to pop off Get some leverage on it and things like that but if uh, you're worried about those little tabs because they are kind of fragile uh, you can always leave this piece in place all it's going to do is affect the cleaning of it um, so if you're having a tough time with it don't worry too much you can skip this step but I'm going to see if we can uh, try to get it loose and that actually worked a lot better so uh, just kind of stick a screwdriver in one of the sides and just kind of press up on it and it just pops right off just like that pretty simple and now you have the entire submarine pod disassembled so now we've got all of our pieces pulled apart the entire thing disassembled all of the parts that we need kind of cherry picked out laid out nice and in a row our next step is just to go ahead and clean them I don't figure you'll want to watch me do that for three hours so I'm going to skip that part and our next video will go straight back into the actual build process itself and we'll just reassemble all the parts and pieces I'll be following the blueprints that came with it uh, so you can kind of see step by step the way it's supposed to be if you had uh, opened it from the box and things like that if you are interested, you can take a look at uh, the actual cleaning process in one of our past videos. It should be under the uh, Phantom X-19 restoration project that we did. Uh, so if you're interested, go take a look at that video and see what my actual cleaning process entails. Um, otherwise, subscribe below if you haven't already. Send us a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see in future videos. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode when we actually do the reassembly process. And until then, yo Joe.